Well, uh, to keep it very simple, in my opinion, to keep it very simple, maybe in meditation there can be two kinds of problems, okay? That's uh, just, at least I could think this very moment does not, does not mean I will not change my mind this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, first is, it's about forcing your mind. So, in meditation, people do force, sometimes they force. Uh, they force their body positions, they force their mind more than mind is able to handle. So that's one risk. Okay? That's, why they, that's why people say during meditation, do short sessions, many sessions. Longer sessions, fewer sessions. That's, the, that's how development of the meditation is. They also say, jok shik chong. Jok means you rest. In Dzogchen practice, they say jok shik chong sum, like you rest. Then when you cannot rest, you're, I'm trying to be very clear, and five minutes later, boom, thought comes up. Then I'm getting mad at that thought. Messed it up my meditation. <laughs> so instead of going, 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 you just your conscious, thought came. What I need to do, observe thought. You observe directly, nakedly, your thought. That's all what I do. Observe nakedly, it dissolves. That's called dissolving. Shik, jok, shik, dissolving. Then, after it dissolves, then what I do now? Continue. Continue, just rest there. Abide, dissolve, continue. Abide, dissolve, continue. Abide, dissolve, continue. This is a sequence. You keep on doing, 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 doing that. So what happens after 10 years? Maybe uh, the sense of abiding is there. Maybe the sense of dissolving is not so much there, you know, because you, 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 you went on maybe one hour. There's not much to dissolve. It's, it's a continuation. Then maybe you, some people say, I didn't meditate it, but I found myself in meditation. How many people have that experiences? Some people, oh, somebody recently told me that I went to sleep, just meditated, went to sleep, and he said he was so happy to wake up in that state. So there was no dis dissolving thing going on in the middle of the night. It was only continuing. So what, is, what does that mean? In the end, it means there's only continuation. There's no dis dissolving thing. What do you dissolve? Where? So there's no dissolving. There's only continuum. As in science, energy, light, it's, it's a continuum process. Never ceases. So the mind finally recognizes there's nothing to dissolve. Even something appears, it's still there. And it doesn't interfere, therefore it does not need to dis dissolve. Only we dissolve the form interferes, we dissolve form to feel the stillness. We dissolve sound to feel the silence. If sound is not interfering silence, you don't need to dissolve si sound. You love sound. You sing. You talk. You move. So that's the process of like a meditation. So forcing one, and then the second one is, is when, when, you, when you achieve some, some level of meditation, deeper level of meditation, a, a sense of self changes. Like, like somebody who is feeling, my life is perfect right now. My life is perfect right now. What is your life, perfect life? I have a good job. And I have a husband, wife, whatever. I have a kid, whatever. Whatever you define a way of defining. So just I have this, I have this, I have this. I have a house, I have this. So a house, job, wife, whatever, whatever, whatever. So my life is perfect. You, you, sec you feel so much secure with absolutely unsecured things, with un absolutely unsecured things unreliable things. You feel so much secure with unreliable things. 
you can lose all of them in an hour. But you feel secure. It's a strange way to feel secure. In a way, for, from some point of view, maybe one bodhisattva, their group, imagine a group of bodhisattvas having fun and having some chattering and thinking about, look at these people, they're having feeling so secure with these things. <laughs> I'm sure they're having so much fun laughing, you know. But that's what we do, that's what we feel. But when when we lose these things, as we talked yesterday, and then nail 19, when you lose your elements, your own body, your thoughts, your recollection, memory, even the ability to identify yourself, isn't it frightening? In a way, for great great meditator goes through the pardo before even the pardo comes. When the pardo comes, you don't have a choice. Element dissolves. You disconnect with it. it you don't have a choice. The great meditator chooses all what thing happens in during the pardo before pardo happens. But in the process of happening that, they might have similar fear like fear in the pardo, a moment of fear. Like sometimes we feel in, during the middle of the meditation, you feel like kind of a little bit like this sense of, like the feelings that, who am I? Or where am I? It's like a losing a, a touch in touch with things. Those kind of fear. So, so short, in short, a fear of lack of existence of yourself. That's what it is. <coughs> you force your mind, that's one problem. But when you don't feel who you are, that's another problem. That's what they say. Yogis and crazy people, they behave similar. But one is yogi. Enlightened, one is crazy. The behavior is similar. But who is yogi, who is, behavior, who is crazy, it's hard to know. Yogi, probably more likely, the crazy people will pretend to be more yogi than the yogi will pretend to be crazy people. I don't know, maybe vice versa, but the possibilities are there, you know. All this idea of like a, um, being like a child, um, we, sometimes we say being like a child, it sounds nice, but sometimes we say be, don't be childish, right? What, what we mean, mean be serious. Don't be, you know, so some sense of a, being like a child, being like a mute, being like a crazy person, being like a pig and dog. Did you remember some of the expression in Dzogchen? It says, be like a pig and dog, means, you know, you know particularly probably in the West, who are, when, when moments in our life we get very uh, totally conditioned by it. You know, weight, uh, weight, I say, yes, yeah, what do you eat? Being so much, so much fear in everything, what do you eat, or something like that. Um, that fear is probably damaging more than what you're eating. Uh, so, so sometimes, like saying, being like a pig and dog means just eat whatever comes in front of you. You know? But of course, it's not advice to everybody. <laughs> Probably we are like pig and dog anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so those who are not pig and like pig and dog, it's advice for them to be like a pig and dog. Those who you are pig and like dog, it's not not to be like a pig and dog. <laughs>